So hello everybody, welcome back to our kids ministry video. We are continuing our unit called Go. Now before we get into our teaching video, we're just gonna play a little game. And this game is called Speed Uniforms. So in different places where your parents might work or your parents' friends might work, sometimes they have to have a different kind of uniform. Firefighters have to have a special kind of uniform to protect them from fires. Nurses have to have a special kind of uniform to protect them from diseases and stuff like that. Even if you think of superheroes, they wear a specific uniform to show who they are. So this is how the game's gonna work. We're gonna give you guys two minutes and we want you to run through your house and you're gonna make yourself your own special uniform. Bonus points if you can come up with like a story around how or why you're dressed the way you're dressed. So we're gonna put a two minute timer on the screen and you're gonna run through your house, get yourself dressed up, uh, get your parents to take a picture of you and send it to me. My email address, it'll be at the bottom here. It's john at parklandchurch.ca. That's john at parklandchurch.ca. We'd love to see those pictures. So you have two minutes, go. So welcome back. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of those uniforms that you guys put together. I'm sure it's awesome and you guys look amazing. So just before we get into the video, we're gonna do our big idea. And this is our big idea that we're trying to teach you guys through the week. And this is what it is. We're gonna have it on the screen. It says, God gives us everything we need. Just like these different people, they need certain uniforms to work. Firefighters need specific gear to be able to fight fires. Nurses need specific gear to be able to stay safe that God gives us everything we need for any kind of problems that can come through our life. And so the teaching video is gonna talk about that a little bit, so enjoy. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl, and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. With your host, Carl, and your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, we have fun, talk about Jesus and all that the Bible has to offer. So once again, welcome to Grow TV. Today's a great day, but I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling a little paranoid, like someone is right behind me. <laughs> That's silly me. Why would anyone be right behind me? Hmm. Anyways, I thought it'd be fun if we took this time to do a staring contest. So what we're gonna do is just stare real intensely at each other until someone blinks and they lose. Ready? One, two, three. Hey 
girl. Yeah! What's going on? Were you hiding back there? Yeah, of course. Why? Why not? Well, I... Never mind. So, Carl, I heard you were a little paranoid. You heard I was a little paranoid? From who? Who said I was paranoid? <laughs> I'm not paranoid. Are cameras in here? Did they bug that little horse? Carl, calm down. I heard you say it earlier. Oh, <laughs> of course. Yeah. What's got you so worried? It's just sometimes this world is crazy, and I'm not ready to go and do the mission, you know? But I have been packing all my stuff to get ready to go. You want to see? Sure. It's just a little bag of stuff that I need. <sighs> Let's see. We got this fuzzy helmet thing, because you never know when you need a fuzzy helmet. Uh, we have a whistle, just in case I get scared of the dark, and I just blow a whistle. I don't know what that would do, but you never know. Let's see. I got this thing, in case I want to kind of change up my style, you know, and be like, hey, <laughs> I got yellow hair. Got a racket for playing tennis. I don't know how to play tennis, but I would like to learn. And I have this terrifying mask. I don't know why, but I just have it. <laughs> and this Batman mask. So I can say, I'm the Batman. And that's it. That's it? Yeah, well, I mean, for the first bag. How many bags do you have? Four. Ah, oh, that's not as much as Teen. I What? 14. I have 14 bags. All right, so you're holding on to all of this because you think you need it for the mission God has given you? I don't think I need it. I know I need it. Okay, well, I just want to let you know that's not true. What do you mean? Have you ever heard of the armor of God? I don't think so. Well, in Ephesians, God shows us we're supposed to put on a type of armor, and that's all we need for our mission. So what does the armor of God have? A flamethrower? Nunchucks? A macaroni necklace? Spider monkeys? Sharks with lasers on their heads? Well, not quite. It's the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, the helmet of salvation, and a few other pieces that are essential for going out and doing what God has planned for us. So you're telling me I don't need my fuzzy helmet? Nope. The hat with the funny yellow hair? Nope. My tennis racket? Nope. Not even my Batman mask? Nope. Believe it or not, God gives us everything we need. Wait, what did you just say? God gives us everything we need. That's our big idea! Today our big idea is, God gave us everything we need. So let's all say it together on three. One, two, three. God gives us everything we need. Well, that was great, y'all. I guess I was wrong in thinking that I needed to pack all this stuff. God will give us everything we need for our mission, and God will take care of us. I'm kind of wondering what this does. God. Welcome back. Now I'm going to read a scripture for you, and this is from uh, Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18. When we read it, we're going to put it up so you can read it too. Now, we talked about how God... Uh, gives us everything that we need to be able to get through the problems in life. And we also talked about how some people in different jobs need special uniforms to be able to do their job. Well, in the Bible, it describes this kind of spiritual uniform called the armor of God. And the world can be a really hard place sometimes. There can be problems that aren't easy for us to deal with, but God can come alongside us and he can help us in different ways through all the different things. And the Bible calls this the armor of God. And so we're going to read from Ephesians 10 verses, or Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18. And it says this. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you'll be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. So I want you to stand up and we're going to point at the different parts of our body as we read this. Therefore put on every piece of God's armor so you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground putting on the belt of truth. Point at your waist. Putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. Point at your chest. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you'll be fully prepared. Point at your feet. In addition to all these, hold up the shield of faith, hold up your one hand to stop the fiery arrows of the enemy. Put on salvation as your helmet, point to your head, and take the sword of the Spirit, hold up your other hand, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. So these are all the different ways that God can help us, whether he helps us by giving us truth, 
or he helps us by giving us uh, the right choices to make in life, whether he helps us by giving us joy by t- telling us about Jesus, or he helps us by saving us and letting us into heaven, that he can help us through all the different problems that we can go through in life. And so God is someone that you can talk to whenever something is going wrong. God is someone that can give you strength, or he can give you joy, or he can give you hope whenever something is going wrong in your life. Now we're going to go through our memory verse here, and it goes like this. And we'll have it on the screen. It's from Matthew 5.16. It says this, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. So I'm going to say it bit by bit. I want you to repeat it back to me. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Now let's see if we can all say it together. We're going to blank the screen from memory. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Thank you very much for joining us this week. I hope to see some pictures from your parents as to what your uniforms look like. See you next week. Bye.